Trees, weeds, even the grass itself all produce pollen. And for hay fever sufferers like 14-year-old Kieran Chapman, it can make life a misery. If I didn't take my medicine, my eyes would always swell up pretty big. And so would my skin because I'd scratch the pollen in because it would be itchy and it would swell up as well. But this year could be worse than usual, as scientists predict the possibility of an intense pollen surge brought on by the delayed start to spring. One in five people in the UK suffer from hay fever. It's caused by an allergic reaction to pollen, a fine powder released by plants as part of their reproductive cycle. Trees are normally first to release it from late March to mid-May. Grass then typically peaks between mid-May and July. And from June to September, weed pollen becomes a problem too. But the late spring means trees and grass could begin their cycle simultaneously, potentially creating a pollen explosion over the coming weeks. And it's not just people like Kieran who could be affected. Those who don't usually suffer from hay fever are expected to become more susceptible to its irritations. Pollen forecasters are closely monitoring readings for signs of a surge. Since the late 90s, we haven't had a pollen season that has been mild. Every single one has been average or above. And I think we can anticipate that 2013 will be pretty much along the same track. Kieran's father, a paediatric consultant, expects to see new patients at his allergy clinic, particularly teenagers. It blocks their nose, which means they can't sleep properly, which means they can't think properly during the day, and it's particularly bad at this time of year when children are doing exams and, and studying. Kieran knows all about that. With his first GCSEs only a few weeks away, he's hoping his medication can keep the symptoms at bay. Emma Birchley, Sky News, Norfolk.